Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out the multifunction buttons on our EFOS transmitters. On the new lineup of FreeSky transmitters that have supported EFOS out the box, there have been these multi-function buttons. On the X20, X18, and XE, there are six buttons, and they're sort of in this region on the transmitter. On the Twin X light, there are four buttons just underneath the screen. And these can all be configured in different ways to do different jobs. What we're gonna do is take a look and see what they can do and how we can configure them. So let's head over to the workbench. Okay, so I've just turned on the transmitter and opened a basic model. At the moment, these aren't actually doing anything, but you can see by default, they're in a set mode. And that is to use them as a six-way switch. So when you click one, doesn't matter which side it is, that takes focus. We can change how this works per model. So to do that, we'll go into the model menu and we'll go to the edit model screen. And what we're gonna do is slide until we get to function switches. So this is where the magic happens. Now I'm gonna use the dial so that it doesn't cover up the screen. And I'm gonna just enter into the function switches option. Now you can see here the different modes that are available with these switches. So the first one is six position, which is the default mode. And I've demonstrated what that does already. So whichever one you click takes focus. If you click the one that's on again, it just stays lit. Six position with off is exactly the same, except you can turn them off. So if I click this one again, it turns it off. So effectively, this gives you seven positions on the switch. The next option is two by three. And what this does is give you three position switches effectively. So it's, it's almost like making it one of these. So each side has its own position and you can choose which of the three positions you want independent of each side. So effectively that will give you two more of these, one on each side of the radio. And again, these don't switch off. It's only that six with an off where it will switch off. Next up, we have six two-way switches. So this is like having an additional six of these switches or the shoulder switches if you've got the X20 Pro. And these, each one of these will light up and be an on-off switch. So you press it, it goes off, press it, it goes on, and they're all independent. So that gives you lots and lots of opportunities for how you want to configure these if you want lots of on-off functions. Lastly, we have the momentary option, which effectively gives you an extra six of these. So each one of these is a momentary switch. When I hold it down, it illuminates. When you let it go, it's off. So you can see these things are highly configurable. And for most of the functions, you're gonna just use them as is by selecting the switch. Certainly momentary, uh, two-way on or off, you're gonna just set these up um, using the function switch setting. But for things like even the two by three way, but certainly the top two options with six positions or six positions with an off, we need to actually do some programming if you want to use them as an individual switch. For example, if you've got a flight controller set up and you want to use these for modes, you will need to set up a way of actually outputting that for you. So what I'm gonna do is choose six position with an off, just because that's the most complicated one potentially. And we'll start looking at how we can program this so that it's a single switch. Let's exit out of this. And what we're gonna do is go into the mixer because surprise, surprise, we need to do this with a mix. So what we're gonna do is add a new mix and we're gonna use var and let's put it first so it's easy to see. So let me just call this. And what we have for the options is an initial weight and then we can add new weights for when it's not enabled. So what I'm actually gonna do is set the initial weight to zero. So the reason I'm gonna do this is because we have an off position on this and I'm gonna put it in the middle. So if I set this weight to 0%, that's the default position. So that would be right bang in the middle of our um, range here. So next step is to add a new weight. So we choose the option and I'm gonna choose that switch there 
it automatically comes up with function switches fs1 and we can give this a weight so let's say number one is minus 100 and we just continue to add weights for the remaining switches so let me set this to i don't know it'd be nice to work out what it even is but i'm going to say so let's say 75 see where that gets us add a new weight again we'll choose the next switch no, that's not going to be right so i'm going to go to minus 33 here uh, go edit this one so that'll be minus 66 we'll add a new weight this will be fs4 and of course you can lay this out as you want i'm doing down then down but you could do a horseshoe however you want to lay this out and this will be positive 33 Add another weight, FS5, that'd be 66. And finally, we'll add our FS6, and that'll be 100. And finally, what we need to do is add an output, which is right at the bottom. And we're just going to choose a channel. So let me put this on channel 13 and i'll give it that name so what you can see down the bottom now is the output from the channel so if i change this we can see that it's just changing the output and if i turn it off it's outputting zero percent in the middle so that is giving us seven positions as it is using this six position switch so that's effectively all you really need to do if you're outputting this directly to a channel. So this is giving you seven positions on a single channel, in this case, channel 13. If we're setting it up using just the six way switch without the off position, we'd probably set it up with 40% gaps. That would give us six positions. If we're using the two sided three way switch, one side would have a VAR for 100, zero minus 100, and then the same on the other side that's how you set this up and that's fine if you want to directly output it to a channel but we can also use this as an input effectively so let me show you an example of that so let me move this to channel 64 so this is not something that's ever going to be transmitted over the airwaves so yeah i'm just going to swap them that's fine so we have our six way what we can do is use that to affect something else. So one thing that I like to do, if, if this is an example of flight modes, I like to have, Stabilize. I already have something on that switch, what about this one? Okay, so I usually like to have flight modes. So I have return to home and manual on a switch and the middle position gives me access to these buttons here. We can still do that quite easily. So our six way, let's add a second one which will be a free mix. And I'm gonna put it just after six way. And let's call this one modes. So what I'm gonna do is set this to always on. The source is gonna be SD here. And at the moment you can see it's just acting like a regular switch. We have our middle position at zero and we have 100 and minus 100. That's all great. That's what we want for the, the first part. So now what we want to do is introduce our six-way position in the middle of those two. So let's add another free mix here. And I'm going to put it after modes and let's call this. Right, now this active condition, we only want this active when SD is in the middle. So we'll put that in the middle position. We'll set our source to a channel and we're going to use channel 64, which is our six way switch. And what we can do is just reduce the weight slightly. So let me set it to maybe 80% and 80%. And of course, this is not gonna work. I've not outputted it to a channel yet. So let's do that on this one and we'll do it to the first one. But that's all we need to do. We just set the weights to 80% and we're gonna output to a channel, and I'm gonna choose 13 again. 
And let's go back and edit our modes and we'll output this on channel 13 as well. Right, so you can see if I go to the extreme top and bottom, we're at 100%, which is operating on the switch, all good. Changing this doesn't do anything at all. If I put this in the middle, then changing this works. And you can see, because we've put the uh, weight limits of 80 to 80, we're now at 80%, and minus 80% when we use the top extreme ends of the scale. Of course, you can change it so that the percentages are the same if you wish. I just use 80% as an example. It will just shrink down that VAR to use whatever we set it to. So if I go back into that and show you it working, our, our six-way VAR is obviously 100 to minus 100. And when we set it here in our mixer, it's actually just shrinking that range down to whatever we have here. So if I put that maybe to 75 and 75, when I go down to view the output, you can see now that it is minus 75 and positive 75. And if I use the switch, it goes to that 100. So, so by using this method, we actually have a nine position uh, flight mode setup. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and don't forget off is eight, and that is nine. So there's plenty that you can do with this. It's very powerful. I mean, it takes a little bit more to set it up rather than just the original six way toggle switch or a six button that you may have seen on other systems, but this is far more powerful and you can do a lot more with it. So there you go guys, I hope you found this video useful. That switch is pretty handy and you can do an awful lot with it. So I hope this helps you guys out and gives you some ideas of how you can use these switches. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please click the subscribe and bell icon. That helps get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. Thank you for the super thanks and the Patreon supporters. It really does help the channel and I really appreciate it. But this is the end of the video. Time to get out, have fun, flow models like you stole them because winter is coming. Have fun while you can, guys. See you on the next one.